Hello there. We're looking at a stormy spell of weather over the next couple of days, really. The strong winds, the heavy rain brought to you by Storm Gareth. And we're looking at severe gales moving in during uh, Tuesday. Let's take a look at uh, Storm Gareth. Well, here it is on the satellite picture. It's a developing area of low pressure that's continuing to edge closer to our shores. And uh, it's got some very tightly spaced isobars. Of course, it's the closeness together of the isobars that determines how strongly the wind blows. And these isobars get very pinched together across the northwest of the UK. That's where we're going to see some of the strongest winds from this storm system. So for Tuesday's weather, we've got a band of rain moving its way eastwards across England and Wales. This having some squally winds mixed in with it. Sunshine follows, but as the sunshine comes out, the temperatures go down. It's one of those cold fronts. Further north and west, plenty of blustery showers working into Scotland and Northern Ireland, with blizzards setting in place across the highlands of Scotland. It will feel quite chilly through the afternoon. Low temperatures, a factor in the strength of the winds, I think it will feel pretty cold. Now, as we head through Tuesday afternoon, the winds will really start to ramp up, and across Northern Ireland, exposed coasts could have gusts up to 80 miles an hour. From there, the strongest winds through Tuesday night and into Wednesday push eastwards, southwest Scotland, England and Wales, many areas seeing gusts in a range of 50 to 60 miles an hour. These winds strong enough to bring down some trees, tree branches and a bit of uh, debris out on the roads. So there is the risk of some transport disruption. Ferries are likely to be uh, cancelled or delayed and there'll be speed restrictions on some of the bridges as well. So transport disruption a possibility. There is also the risk of having some power cuts as well.